We are single-handedly witnessing one of the biggest bag throws in the entire Roblox universe. I have never seen a game start dying faster than Toy Tower Defense. Literally, ever. how to kill your game 101? I don't know. Be to Lantrix. After the update, before the update came out, there was like 180,000 active players. It has been less than two hours since the update came out. And already less than 100,000 active people are playing. That's when you know an update's bad. It's like this video is like, ooh, I'm cooking. This update's so good. There's gonna be some... And then they go and release literally only pay to win units. And it's a good thing that people aren't actually spending their money on it. Only 130 Titan Meatball Man exist. Good. Good. Let's go ahead and look at some charts. Okay, but like real talk, how on earth does Dress to Impress have 500,000 active players? Jesus. Come here, come here. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is Roblox daily users. And as you can see, these are the years. So quarter one of 2022, quarter two of 2022. As you can see, the graph keeps going up. There's more and more people playing Roblox. So tell me, why are less and less people playing Toilet Tower Defense? It's because you're not listening to the players, dude. Wholeheartedly, my disappointment for this update is completely immeasurable. I'm actually so sad. I'm so defeated. I expected so many good things, and I know you guys did too. A lot of you guys will message me on Discord saying how TTD should do this, TTD should do that. They know what they need to do, and, and they're aware. And then they only go ahead and release pay to win crates is insane it's insane what is the point of having a feature request if you literally i don't know never use it literally in the wiki in the trivia someone put this update is pay to win yeah yeah it is one of the only cool things that they added to the game that i've noticed is whenever you pan around it actually is really cool having all the maps around you in a circle i mean that that's cool i'll give you guys that much yeah but they remade the sand aisles. So let's see how good it is. I'm definitely gonna need the green laser cameraman. Let's go ahead and use the hamburger, the Titan fan man. Of course, the Santa TV man. You know, they didn't even add times two speed. Like, why do you keep talking about it? Why do you keep acting like you're gonna add stuff and then not? I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Why? Why? All right, here's our team. Let's see how it goes. I'm depressed. Uh, bop. This game is hardly worth my umboppies. But they said they remade the sand aisles, but excuse me, what part has been remade? If you were to ask me, it looks exactly the same. But like, no, for real. How are you going to try to pass this as a quote unquote remake when there's nothing different? This is exactly the same. The only thing that's gotten different is that you made the text a little bit more bold and that you whitewashed the crap out of the map. Like, we literally got a downgrade. The map looks worse all of a sudden. How does that even happen? How do you literally downgrade graphics? I don't understand. Either way, we gotta focus up on the sand aisles. The sand aisles is still a hard map to beat. So we gotta focus up, lock in, and make sure we get our hamburgers down wherever they need to go. Pretty much everywhere, everywhere. We need to put them down everywhere. Let's get that hamburger, burger, aura up, uh, you. Order up, bus uh, toilet, ever you eat a hamburger toilet. It's hard for me to have fun right now, okay? I'm, you know what? It's a facade. I'm hiding behind a facade. I'm putting on the face cam. All right, the skeleton's reporting live. Some of you guys like the face cam, some of you guys don't. I spent a bunch of money on it, so I might as well use it. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our economy a little bit. But I'm still waiting to see what part of the sand aisles was remade. Was it literally only the text letting us know that you get a coconut crate from beating it? Is that it? Is that all we got? I, I think that's literally all they did. Do you want a cookie? Oh, at least they could have added a cookie unit into the game. I don't know. Something. Maybe, just maybe, there's like a new toilet inside of the map that's exclusive to the sand aisles. But I called out the fact that they kept the sand aisles in for like an extremely long time for no reason like they had the egregiously long timer where it's like come play the sand aisles now it, it, it ends in 72 days it was like ridiculous like a ridiculous amount of days uh, what was even the point of having that in the first place like honestly it's so they could just reuse the map instead of having to make a new one like it's so lazy it's so lazy and on top of it it's just money i'm sorry i'm saying the same things over and over and over again and i know it I'm just, I'm upset. I'm, I'm upset. I'm genuinely upset. I was ready for a huge update. I was so, I was so excited. I literally took, like, I called my dad this morning and I was telling him like how 
everyone's like, oh, Hopeless, your channel's dying. You don't think I know? And obviously, it's partly because of Toy Tower Defense. And, you know, it's like, I am aware of it. I would like to do something about it. And I'm like, yeah, dude, dad, this update's gonna be great. I think it might help revive my channel and bring it back. You know, when I went on vacation for a couple days, that kind of killed my channel too, because I had to rush my videos. It's like, oh, that's awesome. I'm excited for you. I hope you have a good day. And it, it, no, I'm having a terrible day. I'm having a terrible day. Where'd all the fun go? Starting to fly. Oh, I'm about to get cooked right now. I honestly, I don't remember what the best strategy is for this anymore. This is a terrible Titan fan placement. I don't even care. This, it, there's nothing new. Nothing's 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 new. I, I, you know, I don't have a slowing unit. Well, I guess I have the future large clock, man. That counts. But this could be the new Sand Isles meta strategy thingy, mating, tang, walla walla, bing bang, ooh ee, ooh ooh ah. Uh, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. I want to make this a fun, entertaining video for you guys, but I think the way- Oh my god, what was- Jesus, you guys didn't hear that, but I just got a random ad. What the heck? That's how I feel. But I feel like the way I'm portraying my energy and myself in this video is kind of just the way the community feels. It it feels like a like you got a little bit betrayed. I think that's how everyone feels a little bit. A little bit like a, like a backstab. Like we- it, uh, like we were lied to it, it feels like we're literally getting taken advantage of. it really does i'm sick of being promised new things i'm sick of being like being told there's going to be new things there's going to be this there's going to be that times two but yo, so on and so forth we can't have anything nice dude we can't have anything nice but yeah i mean ttd is eventually gonna die uh it's gonna be the developer's fault 100 percent uh, there's no way around that. Like at, at first I gave, you know, the development team the benefit of the doubt. I said, oh, you know, it's because Skibbity Toilet's dying a little bit. There's not as many episodes. It's not as relevant. It's not as trendy. No, it's the team. It's this, it's the team. And I feel like I've been one of the only people that have been extremely critical over the development team for the past months. And it seems now that finally a lot of other people are too, like the, the vast majority of the community are now kind of I think backing me, which is nice, you know. Uh, I I was the boy that cried wolf for a long time, but now people are starting to side with me and see my point of view and things that they need to do. I've made several, several, I mean several videos about the how bad the state is of the game. Constant jabs at the team too for them to step up, and we took a step back. We took a step back today. Like the TTD fall off is the equivalent of the Fall Guys fall off in 2020. That fall off was crazy. That's what TTD is experiencing right now. Also, I know they made it to so the Titan Sandman hideout for a while could be upgraded. The fact that it can get upgraded to 7,500 HP is absolutely bonkers. Like there was a point in time where this was actually hard. You know, it's funny. I actually don't think I've still beaten abysmal mode yet. I'm a toilet tower fraud. It is currently now wave 38. And I do know that things are going to ramp up here pretty fast. And if I want to beat this map, I'm going to need to make sure that I, I have my lightning time stop ability at all times. I'm I'm still waiting to see what is possibly different about this. I have still yet to see a singular change in this map. How is this map remade? Quote unquote remade sand isles. We we remade sand isles. Like I'm I'm putting my finger in quotes right now. Where? Where? Because I am not seeing it. But yeah, it is crazy how fast you guys stopped showing interest in the game. As in like how fast that was wait, no, that was really backhanded i didn't mean it like that that's not uh, you guys changed interest in games relatively fast because you understood that this game was not going in a good direction and i respect you guys for it like massively also i'm definitely gonna need to time stop here it looks like i definitely yeah we're definitely gonna have a time stop uation sandwich uation am i even gonna be able to kill that astro that that's actually crazy work that astro yeah no i'm tanking that astro how much is that guy about to do to me even after time stopping i still might not do 400 whoa 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 oh he only did like 500 yeah only he only did 500 
We live in a world, boys. We live in a world. We're able to kill this Astro, which is good. At least I take a little bit of less HP. And then we have a DJ Toy 2 one over here. He moves slow enough, though, that we are fine. Yeah, I was kind of just hoping with my Titan Fan Man, we we're able to just kind of push everything back, keep it at bay so it doesn't really matter. Wow, that Helmet Boss Toy that has 1.5 million HP. My team might not do enough damage. It actually, it actually might not. I mean, we got dual cargo toilets. There's going to be glitch toilets inside of there. They're going to come out after I kill them, and I'm still not even close to killing those. Yeah, here go the glitches. Yeah, look, look, they don't even follow the track. They just go straight for the hideout. To be fair, I, I don't think it actually hurt me. Uh, yeah, the, the glitch is on the loose. Yeah, um, oh, oh, no, he wanted to go in on the other side. Okay, I have 2,000 HP left. Great, great. I don't think there's any, any universe... Where I, I live this. I think we're cooked, boys. I think we're cooked. We gotta take care of a million more HP over here, and then we're good. And then we have just a tickle more damage to do over here. Yeah, I think we're good to skip. Go ahead and skip that. Upgrade this Titan fan, man. Where are our upgrades are at now? That's basically where they're gonna max out at. We're, we're not gonna really be able to upgrade anything much more. I would love if I was able to upgrade my future large clock man everywhere, but I don't think I'm gonna get to do that. So we're going to thug it out. But I'm hoping with 2,000 HP left on my main building that I should be able to thug out just a little bit more damage. But seriously, the, the way the TTD team took this, this update, I, I'm stuttering because I can't even think of how I want to phrase this. Biggest bag throw of all time. They threw so hard. It hurts. It hurts. It does. It hurts. I'm sure all of you guys were late. You, we spent hours, several Robux, hundreds and thousands of Robux just for the development team to treat us like this. You know, they got their bag. They got their bag. They're happy. On today's release, they got their bag. They're happy. But yeah, I expect me to be sprinkling in other types of content here and there. I'm going to need to see if I can find my footing somewhere else. Watch me over on Hopeless 1. We've been having a great time playing Dandy's World over there. But yeah, I'm going to beat the map, maybe. We'll see. If I did die on wave 50, that would be kind of funny, huh? All right, so it looks like the evil toilet crab came out on this side. So I need to upgrade this Titan fan man as soon as I can. Go ahead and sell that. Upgrade. Yeah, sell all these that you don't need anymore. Grab another Titan fan man. And he is unfortunately resistant to my pushback, which is really bad. I don't know how we're going to be able to do enough damage to him if bro is literally just immune to that. But these DJ Toy 2.0s can die whenever they feel like it. That, like, what, like, literally, as soon as they feel like it, they can just, they can die. Y'all are okay with dying. I think I'm just gonna time stop, do a little bit more damage here really fast, so I can sell these units, because I need an SOS over here on that crab. Pronto, Mingo, bro, Mingo. Time stop is done. Let's go ahead and sell these boys, so I can fully max out this Titan Fan Man, at least. Do that. Sell here. Sell here. Get another Titan Fan Man down. And now we put our hands together and hope that we somehow have enough damage to murder this man. Since he is immune to the pushback, actually up, like, placing on the future large clock man is actually a better use of damage right now. I wish I could use emergency or something like that right now. Ooh, it's gonna be close. 200,000 more damage. I got this. I got this. Either way, we could take out 2,000 more damage. Yeah, we got this. Easy mode. Give me my stupid coconut crate. Also, I owe you guys five mythic units from the last video, so I will do that in the next video because i'm really behind on the day so i will carry it over to next video and that coconut crate that i just got i will sign that and give that away as well so put in the comments hashtag coco coconuts just yeah just do coconut coconuts hashtag coconuts for a free video thank you guys so much for watching hopefully we can get to 100k before this channel turns a year old i would appreciate it either way thank you guys so much for watching this update sucks okay bye